A huge thank you to Melody for being our first giveaway winner. Congratulations and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for your chance to win the next one. Hello lovely, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Dee. Hey girl. Today we are doing another lovely hair review. If you are interested in the details of this gorgeous wig that I am wearing today, keep watching. Kamaya, this is the Kamaya wig from Altre's Melted Hairline Collection. I've been wanting to try this wig for, since it first came out, I remember when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, that is gorgeous. It's just a cute long layer. I mean, not even long. It's like, you know, a good medium length layered wig. But I was so afraid of the dark roots because you guys know I have naturally light hair. My hair is like a natural color 30. Um, and like the darkest hair color in my hair is like a four, I think. So sometimes when the roots are black, it just doesn't look right. So let me go ahead and take this out. Oh, she's so gorgeous though. Look at how pretty she is, but she definitely does have the really dark roots. I'm scared. But I think if I pull out enough of my hairline, and girl, she's so flat. Look at how flat she is. Oh, all right, let me, let me unstuff her. I've been wanting this wig for a while and I hope it looks right. All right, so she does come in different colors. I will put the other colors on the screen here for you to see. Um, I got her in the color DR2 Ginger Brown. And look, gorgeous. All right, so let me cut off some of the tags. I got my fingers crossed, like, I hope. I hope it works. I hope it works. All right, so cap construction is pretty nice, actually. Um, it is only a part there. That is where the lace is. So you get about an inch on the hairline, and then you are strictly a one part kind of thing. Um, I'm sure you can switch it to left or right if you want to do like a side part. I'm just going to do the middle part. I just like middle parts on myself. Um, it also has an elastic band, which I love. It is attached so you cannot detach it. There are two combs on the side as well as a comb at the nape. And of course you have your two adjustable straps there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, wig cap on. I always have my two braids. You know, that's how I do it. I'm kind of annoyed that this braid got a little too high. Typically I like to have my braids really close like to my ear. So that way when I put my combs in, my combs have somewhere to stay. So hopefully my comb here can stay, but we'll see. Let me get my wig cap on. I'm so nervous. I hope she's cute, I really do. All right, so I'm not used to my wigs having this elastic band in there, so let me get that together. All right, you guys, let's see. She is definitely fitted, like, she's fitted for real. All right, you guys, I have not cut the lace off yet, but I just want to let you guys see. I'm gonna scoot back for you. The color, oh, I 
love this color down here. I really wish they would have taken this brown, just kept the brown at the roots. Because uh, for a girl like me, we don't want black roots. We just don't need black roots. All right, so I did bring my hot comb. It looks pretty flat, but it looks like I'm gonna have to like put some heat here to really bring it down. Well, let me brush it out. She is so soft, like the softness is crazy. Like not too shiny, does not feel synthetic. Like, oh, mm, mm, mm. I love it so much. I love it so much. The only thing I don't like is this dark roots. Okay. Let me get over it, because I know, I know a lot of you girls have dark hair. I'm the oddball out. So, girl, this wig, this wig is gorgeous. Like, I, I haven't even cut the, waist, the lace off yet. The layers are absolutely beautiful. She's thick, but not too thick. Um, it's just like volume thick. It's not like heavy, too much hair thick. Girl, I knew I was gonna like this look. I knew it, the cut, the layers are just so perfect. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna have to pull my edges out quite a bit. but I have not cut the lace off yet and I'm already getting a little bit of shedding. Um, so that's that. She's so gorgeous. So this is what it's looking like so far. I haven't cut the lace off yet, but look at how pretty the hairline is. If you do have dark hair, this is gonna work for you so well. Like, even if you don't bring any of your edges out, you can melt this down if you want to. I don't melt my wigs down. I don't sleep in my wigs, which is how my synthetic wigs last so long. Quite honestly, I feel like when I sleep in my synthetic wigs, they break my skin out, so I don't do that. Um, but she's so pretty, she's so soft, not too shiny. Like, it doesn't even give synthetic, it gives like blend. Let me make sure it's not like a blend because it can't be synthetic. Yeah, 22 inches, it is high heat, um, transparent lace. It does not say it's human hair, but it also does not say synthetic anywhere on here. So I'm really not sure. The blonde one's pretty. There is another like coppery color, but I like this like autumn color. It's like giving fall for sure. Soft HD transparent lace, five inch deep parting, completely plucked, pre-plucked hairline and sideburns, pre-attached wide elastic bands for a secure fit, natural baby hair. Redesign comfort fit ear contour. I will say this wig probably is not big head friendly. I don't really know the scale of head sizes though. Um, I don't know if I got a big head, small head, medium head. I want to say it's like medium. I don't know, y'all can look at me and tell. Um, but it is pretty snug, but I kind of like a snug wig. I don't like when my wig is too loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this lace off. And I'm also gonna plug up my flat irons and my um, hot comb so I can, I don't even know if I really wanna flatten this too much. I might just take the back of the flat comb and just like flatten just a bit of it. And we're gonna see what I can do with my edges to blend this hair because I love it. Let me show you guys what it looks like from the back. So that's the back. She goes pretty far down. Um, yeah, she goes pretty far down. 
she's cute or whatever. Like, girl, girl. Off yet, but yes, you need her. You need her, sis. You need her. All right, so I don't have a razor today. I have my little scissors. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut her, cut the lace off off camera, and I'll be right back. Hey right, guys, so I only have like um, three fourths of this wig cut off or this lace cut off, but I wanted to show you what they mean by the ear contour. I think this will be really helpful for the girls who melt their wigs down or like actually tape or glue their wigs down, whatever you guys do. Um, this is what they mean. Like you actually have an area to like glue down for like your sideburns and stuff. And then it goes behind your ear. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but if you guys do the whole glue down thing and cut like that, you will have, like this wig is good for that. I don't use that, so I'm just gonna cut that part off because it starts to drop me crazy. All right, you guys, I have cut the lace off. I just love that, like that. Love. Um, cut the lace off, so now I'm about to pull out some of my edges and see how I can blend this hairline. The way I gauge how much baby hair to pull out is if the wind blows, can you see lace? If you can, you need to pull out some more edges. If you cannot, then you're good. And my braids are so fresh, so like, I'm trying to be gentle. Now I'm just gonna go in with the back of this comb, this hot comb and just kind of go over the parting space. Just kind of kind of help smooth out some of the lumps there. Not really a lump, but just like I don't want the volume to like start right at the root. See, I just kind of just like set it down a little bit. But it's still like volume. I like that. A little better. I'm just gonna flat iron my edges and that will be it. And then once I do this once, I usually don't have to do this again. I don't put heat on my hair every single day.
right. I think that looks pretty good. I feel good about that. Like I said, when I get home, I'm probably going to just put a little bit of eyeshadow right there just to darken it up ever so slightly. But overall, I'm in love with this wig. Um, after you cut the lace, you do have to, you know, expect a little bit of shedding because you've cut into the lace. But I love the layers. I love the way it falls. I love how soft it is. I love that it's not too shiny. I like how it's pretty easy. Um, for me, I have to do a little bit of work on it. And you guys know I don't like to do too much, you know, messing with the lace, gluing this down, cutting this, and putting heat on it. But I mean, for the minimal amount of work I have to do with it, I think it's definitely worth it. I think this wig was only like $30, $35. I will, I will make sure I put a link down below. So if you do use my link, please know that I will be receiving a little bit of commission for it. Not much, girl, but I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I think perhaps maybe I need to manifest having a, you know, defined divine collection to where all the wigs have a light brown roots. Cause I know there are some other natural born black girl gingers out there that would absolutely love it. Um, let me know if you have natural light hair and if it's hard for you to find wigs because I wanna hear from y'all. Like, and I wanna see what kind of wigs you guys want me to try on. Um, and even if you do have like natural dark hair and you guys want me to try on some wigs, Typically, they're going to be in the brown family or lighter or, you know, I don't do black wigs ever. They just don't look right on me. Um, and I can't showcase them as nicely as I can showcase lighter colors. So that's my thing. Um, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. And I'm going to give you a little model of this wig and I will see you guys in the next video.